Hi, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi, I'm Kylie and I do things like challenges, tutorials and reviews on this channel and today is going to be a review of the new Made by Mitchell Head in the Clouds palette. So this is the look that I have created today. I've also got three other looks that I have done with this palette so far. Um, but yeah, so this is the palette. Here's the inside of it. How pretty is this palette. It also comes in this case as well which I know a lot of people think is like a waste but I think it will be dead handy for like people who travel, makeup artists, stuff like that. I will find a use for it. But this was actually very kindly sent to me by my Patreons. They got me a whole bunch of stuff. They got me lipsticks, gel polish, they got me the palette. They got me a whole heap of stuff for my Christmas. I will pop up a picture for you so you can see what they sent me, but it was just so nice of them. And yeah, I couldn't be more grateful. So today we are going to review that palette. I'm gonna give you a bit of a spoiler. It's good. <laughs> but yeah, so I am gonna head on into the tutorial now. I hope that you like this look that I've created today. See you in a second. Okay, so I have done one eye so that I could like work out what I wanted to do today and yeah, let's just get straight into it. So the first shade I'm going to use is Crips and Kaikos. Why is it always one that I can't see? Um, but it's this purple, <laughs> this one here. So that's the first shade that I'm going to use and I'm going to use that on this Jessup 231. I'm going to put that on the inner and the outer corner of my eye. Now, there's definitely a lot of kickback, but it's worth it. So I find that there's kickback on most palettes, to be honest, and I it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me at all. As long as it works on the eye, I'm happy. But if that is something that bothers you, I would consider it, but yeah. So inner and outer corner of the eye. You can see straight away there, there is pigment. So, happy days. And I'm only taking a little bit at a time. Okay, and now I'm gonna take my Jessup 227 and I'm gonna go into the shade Lucid, which is this shade here. Such a pretty shade. I'm just taking a little bit of that. I'm just going to blend out the edges. And I will go back in and intensify the darker purple after. I'll just go between the two until I get the blend that I want. I really wanted to do something that was quite simple today. I've been in a little bit of a makeup funk, shall we say, since Christmas. I think just having like a wee bit of time off did that to me. I just need to not have any time off now. Lesson learned. <laughs> so I'm just going in circular motions to blend. And I'm not really blending the inside parts of this because I'm going to be putting like the shimmers down so they're not needed. I'm just with no product really on the brush taking that a bit closer up to my brow bone so it's nice and blends into the skin. Just take a bit of the darker purple and just re-intensify and then I'll go between the two until I'm happy. Okay, so what I did next is I took pink eye um, and put that on the centre of the eye and then to kind of blend that into the purple I took So Disguise. So I'll just pop that on. It's such pretty shimmers in this this palette. Like they go so far, they work so well, and that's with dry brushes as well. Like I'm not even wet in the brushes. That's awesome. <laughs> Pile. <laughs> I'm just gonna take that right up so that the spotlight is coming in. I 
and this is just on my Jessa 237 which is my favourite brush ever I wish you could buy them separately because like I don't want to be buying sets just to get this brush because I have a lot of brushes so yeah I wish Jessup if you're listening <laughs> you would sell the 237 separately So I would say that's pretty much done there. So now I'm going to do under my eye. So I'm just taking, this is just like a really cheap BB brush, but it's quite small. I really like it for doing it under my eye for like the initial blend. So the first colour I'm going to go in with is Cockpit. And then I will take some of Eclipse, which is this dark blue shimmer. And I'm just going to run that along like right at the lash line. But most of the colour is going to be from Cockpit. I just used clips to kind of deepen it up a little bit and I wanted a bit more sparkle. It's been quite a while since I put the base under this eye so it might not stick quite as easily because it's quite dry now. It's actually going on just fine. So I just ran that all the way along and kind of just blended it out while I did it. I really like having a contrast in lower lash line. I don't know what it is, I just really like it. <laughs> These earrings, by the way, one of my patrons actually uh, makes jewellery and she made these ones for me. She made me some Christmas ones as well, but I didn't get them in time for my Christmas videos. I think I'm wearing them in my 2020 favourites though. I think I'm on there. Um, but these are just gorgeous and they, they feel really nice, like they they feel really good quality. I absolutely love these, I need to get more from her. And they weren't like super expensive either, which is so nice. I will leave her link down below for her Facebook group so that you can hit her up if you're interested in any. Okay, and then for the Eclipse, the dark blue shimmer, I'm gonna use this Smashbox number 12. It's just an angled brush. And I'm gonna take the a shimmer close to the lash line but only about three quarters of the way through. So I'm just going to take the brush that I used cockpit on again and just kind of blend that a little bit. And then in my waterline I'm going to use a purple pencil liner and in the upper tight line I'm going to use a black one. And then what I did was I took the dark purple on that angled brush, so I've just cleaned it off in my magic tin, and I put it along my lash line so that when I put my lashes on they kind of blend in a bit better, just kind of like a liner. Nothing fancy. And then I do my usual trick for putting my lashes on which is put the lash glue along the lash line and then it sets nice and quickly and you can put your lash on a lot easier. So I use the duo which is the green one. Make sure to get the green one. I tried the blue one and I really didn't like it um, and it wasn't a brush. I really like how this is a brush so it's easier to put on, kind of like a liquid liner. So definitely get the green one if you're going to try this glue. I literally just put it on like liner and then the lashes that I'm using is from a set I think it's five for like four pound on Amazon and they're actually awesome I if I remember I will leave a link for them down below or if I don't remember comment down below if you want the link and I will give that to you but yeah, you get like five different designs. I really like them. And I like to put my mascara on after I put my lashes on because I like to pinch them together and I hate getting mascara all over my fingers. So I always put mascara on after. I know a lot of people do it first, but I just, I can't stand the feeling of getting that mascara on my fingertips. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, and now I'll give them a curl and then I'll stick my mascara on and then we'll just add the gems to the bottom and my inner corner and under the brow bone highlight and that'll be that. And this is the Revolution, the Mascara Revolution. I'm using this Do Care brush, it's just a flat brush. And I'm going to go into the shade Clouded, which is this white shimmer shade here. And I'm going to put that under the brow bone and on my inner corner. And it's such a 
cute. I like, I love it. Okay, and now to blend between the brow bone and the eyeshadow, I'm gonna use the brush that I used, the lightest purple. Okay, and then the gems, these are just ones from Amazon and I use the lash glue and I'll just put a little bit of glue onto my skin and then I use this wax pencil which was eBay I believe, it could have been Amazon, um, but this picks up gems so easily and I have to thank Elena for that one because I had no idea that these existed and I was struggling to get gems onto my eyes so thank you Elena for that. Um, if you haven't checked out her channel I'll put the link down below. I would have been live with her by the time this video goes up so there will be a video on her channel where I did makeup with her and Tia I believe um so yeah go and check that out so I'm just gonna do four dots over the blue and just let that kind of settle a little bit and then I will pop the gems on and that'll be it but obviously I still need to do my base face but I'm actually gonna film that so you can see it in another video in its entirety I'm just gonna go through my whole skin routine so look out for that too I'm trying to get quite a lot done today so that I can get on with assessments and stuff for college <laughs> so productive day for me okay so I've just picked up a gem and that's it stuck on so much easier than faffing around with tweezers and stuff. <gasps> Nightmare with gems, I'm telling you. Okay, and then I just take my mascara again and I just make sure that there's no glue on my lashes that you can see. Okay, and that is it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go and do my base face and I will be back to give you my final thoughts on this palette. So I will see you in a second. Okay, so look finished. Final thoughts on this palette. I think it is brilliant. I think Mitchell has done himself proud. I really do want to get the feet on the ground one now. <laughs> but yeah, my absolute favorite shade in this palette has to be Eclipse, which is this dark blue shimmer shade. I think it's absolutely stunning. And the shimmers are just like magical in this palette. I don't know how he did it, but he did, he went there. But yeah, I didn't have any issues with a single shade in this palette and I cannot wait to play with it even more and like I said in the intro I like this case as well so yeah I don't have any complaints and yeah well done Metro I'm looking forward to getting more of his range because I've heard nothing but good things so happy days so I'm gonna head off now look out for my next video I think it'll be my next video where I do my base face so you can see how I came to this in the end I am um, but yeah so I am gonna go now and I will see you next week with a brand new video bye